All right, so you've made it to this part of the survey request, the part that we start adding other things on that cost money. So let's go through each one individually. The very first one you're looking at is an ALTA survey. An ALTA survey is an American Land Title Association survey. A lot of people checkmark this because they believe that they need that specifically because it, cert it shows certain le detail levels. In this area, when we do a property survey, a lot survey or a boundary survey, we show all improvements that we can find. We do not do just a boundary and show nothing in the middle. So requesting an ALTA survey is typically used for commercial properties. It will pretty much almost double the cost of your survey because of the requirements that they have. It's no more accurate than the Tennessee state requirements. It's just that they have a lot more stipulations on it and therefore it increased the cost. Marking lines, and we have two options here, rough mark or mark for fence. R marking lines rough for fence, we literally put stakes exactly on the property line, typically intervisible so you can see from one stake to the next. So if you want to build a fence exactly on the line, you can do it. Rough marking, we hang we put some stakes in the ground if it's in the open area, but if it's up in the, if it's in trees or woods, we will hang pink flagging from the trees online. It's said rough marking because it's pretty close. It's not exactly perfect. We tend to fudge a little towards the inside of your property line so that you don't run the risk of cutting someone else's tree down. Now, as you can imagine, rough marking it translates to faster and easier for us. Therefore, it's going to be cheaper. Marking for fence, especially in heavily wooded areas, can be very costly, sometimes more than the actual survey itself. The next thing on the list is a meets and bounds legal description. When you request this, you are asking us to write you a new meets and bounds legal description. If your lot is platted, if, which means if there is a plat of record recorded at the courthouse, you do not need a meets and bounds legal description. The plat of record will hold over that meets and bounds description. If, however, you have a survey, a piece of property with a very old description or a bad description, then you would request us to write you a meets and bounds legal description. It does not mean that yours is written that way. It means that you're asking us to do one. It is possible for us to do a survey without providing a map. There's a catch to this. We cannot later make a map if you change your mind after we've done the survey. One of the reasons why the price is discounted is because while we're out there, we do not have to locate all of the improvements because we're not making a map. We don't have to create find all that information that's necessary to do that. So if you request no map and then later decide you want a map, we have to go back out and do more survey work and we'll have to charge you for the trip fee and the time out there. The next option is a site plan. If you are building a piece of, are building a house on a piece of property, at least in Sevier County, they all require a site plan. Some of them require, some counties require you just sketch what you want, where you're going to put it. Some of them require something more formal. If you're asking us to actually make a map for you that, that will get through the county, then check mark that and we will price it accordingly. Staking a structure. If you want us to put a house on your property, you have to provide us house plans and you have to tell us where you want it. We don't make that decision for you, but this is us putting the corners on the ground so that your contractor or builder can build it, can dig it and build it. It is not uncommon for us to go back three or four times to do this. We can charge you at a flat rate when we first come in and do the survey. If you have the information to us, we also will explain the cost for staking it as we go through. Be aware that if you have a house with a crazy amount of property corners or lot or house corners, it's going to cost more. The next option is subdivision. If you want to cut off a piece of property, split a piece of property, move a property line, or otherwise change property lines, this is what you have to check. It doesn't matter if you have 50 acres and you're cutting out a one acre parcel, you still call it a subdivision. If you want to cut five acres out, you still call it a subdivision, even though by state legal standards, that's not a subdivision, but there's specifics about that. You can see the link above that will take you to more information about that. Topographic survey. That's where we show the contours of the property. As you can see over here on this edge, you can see a little bit of contours here. Let me drag over here. This is a topographic survey, just so you know. 
All right, so if you need a topo, topo, topographic survey for whatever reason, there are two options we can do. The first one is to shoot the thing, and the other one is to pull it from the GIS. The most accurate, of course, is us shooting it on the spot. The problem is, this is con the price of this is controlled by how dense it's, it's covered, how accurate you want it to be. Do you want to have one foot contour, two foot, ten foot contour interval? All these are explained further in the link above. But your option is the topographic shot or through GIS. The state GIS has two foot contour intervals done with LIDAR. And we can typically pull that off of there and it is significantly cheaper. If there's anything else you want done, click other and put it down. <clears throat> if you're having a property dispute, put it in there, mark it to say it is property dispute, but explain whether it's why, what is in dispute down here in the explanation box. If you want the lines marked for fence, but you only want the west line marked for fence and the east and south lines rough mark, mark it down here. Explain what you want done, how you want it done, and that'll help us be able to make an accurate quote for what you need. Anything you're looking for is also link linked here, and what is actually included in the normal survey is linked here.